Hey guys, it's time for my review of Main Event from January 30th, 2013. And it starts off with... Really? Really, it starts off with Miz TV. Well, anyway, there's a point to this episode of Miz TV because the guest is Ryback. Now, Ryback comes on and he goes... Thank you for having me, Miz. I just want, I want you to know that I'm a fan of your show. And Miz is like, you're a fan of my show. Even though the last time you were on here, you destroyed my set. Yeah, I'm a fan of your show. So Miz goes into how both men have had issues with Antonio Cesaro. Previous episode of uh, Main Event... Cesaro got himself counted out. Miz rolled him back in, and then after he hit uh, right back at the clothesline, uh, Cesaro rolled out again and left. So they talk about him, and then Cesaro comes out, and he is angry for the fact that on Raw, Miz was the guest referee for Cesaro's match against Randy Orton, and that he wants Ryback right now in the ring. So, it is the scheduled match, so it's really not a surprise. So, they both go down to the ring. We have our match. Um, mm, this is a little bit hard, because, you know, again, you're in a situation where Ryback is hot, but Cesaro is one of your best heels. Pardon me. Um, so, what do you really do? Um... But Cesaro does have an advantage for a while, and then Ryback comes back, um, you know, and he's about to, you know, hit his moves. In the end of the match, Cesaro rolls out of the ring again, but this time he kicks the Miz square in the face, and Miz never saw it coming, knocked him down. Cesaro went through the crowd, left. And Ryback wins as a result of a countout. So basically, another good way to keep Antonio Cesaro as a good heel, you know, with these cheap moves, especially that kick to the Miz to continue their feud. So after, you know, Michael Cole checks on Miz to see if he's all right, we go to the back, Tensai is there, and all of a sudden the primetime players are there, and they talk about how, you know, Monday night was an embarrassment when Tensai was in lingerie and, you know, just looked absolutely terrible. And Tensai was asking if they were looking for a fight, then they backed off. So then Brodus Clay comes out and he apologizes to Tensai for what he did, not telling him that the match had been changed. And Tensai just does not care and decides to leave. So after they do a video package on Brock Lesnar, we have our second match as it's Titus O'Neil against Tensai. Now, this is a, at first this is an odd pairing because it's two heels. But going through this match, it gets a bit interesting. Because Darren Young and Titus O'Neil, they're about to attack Tensai on the outside. When Brodus Clay comes out, he and the Funkadactyls or the Funketeers or whatever they're called uh, come out and, you know, stop O'Neal and Young from the attack or from attacking uh, Tensai. So, you know, we go back to the ring, back for the action, and then all of a sudden towards the end, Tensai gets control and he starts doing a little bit of some dancing. Some charisma comes out. Hits a big splash on O'Neal. One, two, three. Tensai beats Titus O'Neal in this match. And then after it, Brodus Clay comes in the ring. And, you know, he gets the crowd to do the whole, you know, clapping the hands thing. And, you know, they play music and both men start to dance. Tensai does the robot. And that's basically the end of your episode of Man Effect. Uh... Not really the best episode of Main Event. Um, I, I This one just just didn't feel too good for me. I guess the fact that 
the, the, the entire plan of the Intercontinental Cup got scrapped at the last minute, and they sort of had to do like a, you know, like a, let's get these matches put together right away on the spot. Just, I guess, sort of just ruined it for me. I just was not a fan. But it, it's still, you know, an episode that you could watch and you wouldn't be bored and be like, oh, my God, I want to kill myself or I want to watch something else. But that's how it goes with this episode of Main Event.